or unintentionally biased. For example, some more aspects of an issue might not be programmed into the algorithm or might be programmed to reflect and replicate structural bias. In addition, the use of numbers to represent complex social reality could make the AI seem factual and precise when it isn't. This is sometimes referred to as math washing. If not done properly, AI could lead to decisions influenced by data on ethnicity, sex, age, when hiring or firing, offering loans, or even in criminal proceedings. AI could severely affect the right to privacy and data protection. It can be, for example, used in face recognition equipment or for online tracking and profiling of individuals. In addition, AI enables merging pieces of information a person has given into new data, which can lead to results the person would not expect. It can also present a threat to democracy. AI has already been blamed for creating online echo chambers based on a person's previous online behavior, displaying only content a person would like, instead of creating an environment for pluralistic, equally accessible and in scouts and concert public debate. It can be even used to create extremely realistic fake videos, audio and images known as deep fakes, which can present financial risks, our reputation, and change decision making. All of this could lead to separation and polarization in the public sphere and manipulate elections. AI could also play a role in harming freedom of assembly and protest as it could track and profile individuals linked to certain beliefs or actions to prevent BS, AI Act requires that the data sets used to train AI as complete and free of errors as possible. It also regulates the use of certain AI applications that may threaten citizens' rights. For example, the use of biometric identification systems by law enforcement is prohibited, expected in some narrow, narrowly defined cases. The AI Act also introduced as a requirement that artificially created or manipulated images, audio or video content, deep fakes, should be clearly and visibly labeled as such. AI impact on jobs. Use of AI in the workplace is expected to result in the elimination of a large number of jobs. Though AI is also expected to create and make better jobs, education and training will have a crucial role in preventing long-term unemployment and ensure a skilled workforce. Workforce, competition, and missing information could also lead to distortion of completion as companies with more information could gain an advantage and effectively eliminate competitors. AI applications that are in physical contact with humans or integrated into the human body could pose safety risks and they may be poorly designed. This used or hacked, poorly regulated, 
Use of AI in weapons will lead to loss of a human control over dangerous weapons. Imbalances of access to information could be exploited. For example, based on person's online behavior or other data and without their knowledge, an online vendor can use AI to predict someone is willing to pay or a political campaign can adapt their message. Another transparency issue is that sometimes it can be unclear to people whether they are interacting with AI or a person. The AI Act tackles these challenges by regulating the use of AI to prevent manipulating human behavior, deception, or exploiting people's vulnerabilities. Data is the heart of the EU digital transformation that is influencing all aspects of society and the economy. It's necessary for the development of artificial. It's necessary for the development of AI, which is one of the EU's priorities, and presents significant opportunities for involving for innovation and growth. For example, health and green technologies. Responding to the European Commission's the Parliament called for legislation focused on people based on European values of privacy and transparency that will be enable European and EU based companies to benefit from the potential of industrial and public data. The benefits of an EU data economy. In Parliament's view, there is a need for efficient data legislation that will support research and invite innovation, large quantities of quality data, notably non personal, industrial, public, and commercial, already exist in the EU and their full potential is yet to be explored. In the coming years, much more data will be generated. Data legislation should help tap into this potential and the data available to European companies, including small and medium-sized enterprises and researchers, enabling data flow between sectors and countries with European businesses of all sizes to innovate and thrive in Europe and beyond and help establish the EU as a leader in the data economy. Enabling data flow between sectors and countries will help Arabian businesses of all sizes to involve and thrive in Europe and beyond it and help establish the EU as a leader in the data economy. Europe's global competitors such as the US and China are innovating quickly and applying their ways to data access and use. To become a leader in the data economy, the EU should find a European way to unleash potential and set standards. Rules to protect privacy, transparency, and fundamental rights. Parliament insists that rules should be based on privacy, transparency, and respect for the fundamental rights. The free share of data must be limited to non-personal data or irreversibly anonymized data. Individuals must be in full control of their data and be protected by the EU data protection rules. Barman's River urged the Commission and EU countries to work with other countries on global standards to promote EU values and principles and ensure the Union's market remain competitive.
login data spaces and big data infrastructure, calling for the free flow of data to be the guiding principle. MEPs encouraged the Commission and EU countries to create sectoral data spaces that will enable the sharing of data while following common guidelines, legal requirements, and protocols. And the success of the data strategy depends largely on information and communication technology infrastructure. MEP is called for accelerating technological developments in the EU such as cybersecurity technology, optical fibers, 5G and 6G, and welcome proposals to advance Europe's role in supercomputing and quantum computing. They warn that the digital divide between regions should be tackled to ensure equal possibilities. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I 